Hey folks, so it's the 27th of November today, um, and I want to talk a bit about something that's been on my mind a lot recently, which is a little bit difficult to explain. So it's the concept of being confronted about who I am, but still remaining visible. Um, because it's something that I really, really struggle with. One of the things that triggers my anxiety a lot is being in situations where there's a mixed group of people and some of them are people that knew me before and some of them are people that don't know me at all and it gives me anxiety because I feel like I'm going to be forced to out myself and answer questions that I don't necessarily want to answer and be judged unfairly um, and so it just causes me some anxiety and I try my best to avoid those situations because I don't want to have an anxiety attack, but at the same time, I feel like hiding from situations where I need to explain myself is diminishing my visibility as a trans person, which I don't want to do because I'm not ashamed of it at all. Um, so it's really um, it's an interesting battle that goes on in my head when I enter situations like that. Um, and the funny part is, I don't know why it makes me anxious, because I'm more than happy to answer most people's questions, um, and I love being able to educate people and teach them about something that they might not otherwise have had um, access to or an experience with. Um, and I think it's really important, and I think that um, for me in particular, I'm not speaking for the whole trans community, obviously, but I'm... I pride myself on being open about my transition because I want to show people that there's nothing to be ashamed of about it. And I think a lot of the problem um, that people have in, like, with regards to being aggressive towards trans people is that they just don't understand it. And I think if some of us, more of us, were able to explain things in a really um, simple way to people, um, they would be more open and accepting. So. It's weird for me that I avoid situations where I'm going to have to do those things even though I have no problem whatsoever doing them. Um, and then it's weird because I'll be so anxious about having to answer questions and being indirectly outed, but then I feel guilty afterwards because I feel like I'm not visible enough and I should be, like, I don't have to walk around with a t-shirt saying that I'm trans all the time, but... I would like to be more visible, I would, because I don't identify as a cis male, I don't identify as male, I identify as a trans guy, and I think that's okay, and I'm proud to say that, and I'm proud for other people to know that. Um, so yeah, it's just a weird thing, and I've been thinking a lot about um, life after surgery, because that's coming up real soon, and thinking that... I've, like, I pass pretty well now, and I will pass even better after surgery, and that will diminish my visibility even more, but I don't want that to happen, and I'm, I'm trying to find a way to make that not occur. I mean, it's, it's difficult because it's not like I'm going to walk down the street and to each stranger that I meet say, hi, my name is Clark and I'm trans. Like, it's not the first thing I'm going to say to people. But I don't want to hide it. I don't want to present myself as a just male. You know, I want that extra piece to be known. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of trying to think of a way to be able to do that. Um, and I have not thought of it yet. But I think once my body looks more the way I want it to, you know, with respect to my chest, that I'll be more comfortable... Um, accessing and exploring and um, just presenting my feminine qualities. Um, right now I'm dressing really masculine, I think, and once I'm post-op I'll be able to wear some tighter fitting clothes and I think that I'll probably come off as a gay guy, which is also fine, um, and that will maybe open up a conversation with people when they assume that I'm gay to say, well, no, actually, I'm transgender. Um, but, yeah. 
it's a weird thing. And I'm not sure how to be visible without being overbearing. So I'm going to try to avoid those... Um, I'm going to try to avoid avoiding situations where I'm going to have to out myself and just accepting that, you know, it'll happen if it does and I'm okay with that. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, surgery is in 15 days and I'm starting to get quite nervous, mostly, um, because of, you know, stuff that happened last time. But also, my dad is um, panicky, panicking and anxious and nervous, and it's just kind of infecting me. Um, you know, just being around him, uh, it's causing me a lot of anxiety. He's super adamant that he wants a nurse in my hotel room the first night, which is like... As illogical as his train of thought is, and as much as I know that, I can't help but, you know, be, I don't know, affected by his anxiety. You know, some of it is rubbing off on me, and I'm not liking it, and I'm very much ready for surgery and ready for surgery to be done. Yeah. So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Um... Don't forget that the Trans Calendar launch party is in Montreal on the 7th of December. So if you're in or around Montreal, you should come check that out. It'll be really fun. And a lot of us, not a lot of us, but a few of us are going to be there. Um, so if you want to come meet us, we'd love to meet you. And there will be calendars for sale if you want to buy one. And yeah, so bye folks.